Hello and welcome to this WP Zoom video screencast. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the WordPress customizer to customize the presence theme from WP Zoom. Now, you'll want to have first looked at the Getting Started video available at wpzoom.com. Just check out the presence documentation. And you can also find specific videos for setting up the different layouts available um, for the theme at the same place. If you're on your WordPress dashboard and looking for these, you'll find them under WP Zoom and then Getting Started. You then just need to follow the link to the presence documentation. So using the WordPress customizer is really easy and you'll find it under Appearance and then Customize. With Presence, you can use it to customize a number of aspects of the theme with a live preview so you can see what you're getting before you apply the changes to your site. So you'll see when you load up the customizer, um, you have a live preview of your site on the right hand side and you have the options available on the left. This live preview means you can click through to different pages and um, the customizer is only going to show you the options available on the page you can see. So if you are loading up options for perhaps a page as I'm on here, then um, you would need to be on the page in order to see those options. That mainly applies to widgets, but it's just worth knowing before we start. So I'll return to my home page and then talk you through all of these options. First is the site identity. Here you can change your site title and tagline and choose whether to show a tagline at all. So you'll see if I change this um, text here, I'm going to get a live preview displaying there. You can also add in a site logo. And you'll do that um, under logo here, just press select logo. You can now either choose to select an image from your WordPress media library that you've got uploaded already, or go to upload files and then select files in order to upload a file from your computer. So here you'll see the suggested image dimensions are 400 by 100. You can either crop this on your computer or once you select this file, you'll be prompted by the theme in order to select um, your image to those dimensions. So you see, you can either crop the image here or skip cropping if you've already done it as I have here. You'll now get a preview of what that looks like and you can either change or remove. Here I'll just um, revert to the text here by removing that image. You can, however, set a site icon. This is used as a browser and app icon for your site and icons must be square and at least 512 pixels wide and tall. Again, you can select an image here, go to upload files, select files and select an option here. Here I've got the WP Zoom logo and I can just select that there. Again, you'll be prompted to crop that square and you can see a preview of what that would look like as a favicon or as an app icon. I'll skip cropping and we can see those changes have been added in here. So that's just a nice way of customizing your site identity. Under color scheme, you can choose the different color schemes available with the theme and you've just got a drop down in order to select between these. You'll be able to see the live preview and see what these look like. And you can see as I flick through these, um, I'm getting that displaying here. You can then choose um, the one you want to display. So I'll just go with the blue one here. You've got some options for the theme layout, whether you want the boxed or full width layouts. If you change that to full width, you're gonna see that that goes to, as you would suspect, the full width of the page, whereas boxed adds in that little bit of padding and margin there. The header options let you choose a couple of options with the header in choosing showing the top navigation menu, um, which you'll see here. You can add in a menu here as well as your social icons. You can choose to show or hide the search form as well as change the alignment of the logo and the menu. The slider styles is going to let you customize the different styling available for the slider on the homepage. So here you can see we're set up with slider style one. We can switch to slider style two, which is just going to have um, this overlay on the text rather than across the whole image as you have in one, you can see the difference there. And three is going to change that to a box style, um, which will allow for much more visibility on the content. I'm just gonna set that back to one there with that nice gradient background. 
You can select a background image if you would like. And again, you can choose from something from the WordPress media library or upload your own files here. And it's just a case of selecting and then choosing image. Once that's selected, you can choose the repeat settings, the background position and the attachment, so whether that scrolls or is fixed. Um, I'm just gonna remove that there. You can customize the menus and choose the menu locations. So choose the menus you've created when you want to apply them to a menu area. Um, you can do so here. So if I was just to apply this twice, just to show you what this looks like. So you can see that um, displaying there. I'm just gonna get rid of that so we don't have that duplicated. You can also edit the menus um, just by either editing a menu you've already created. You'll see this is just a condensed version of the WordPress menu editor. You can add new items as well as reorder anything here, create drop downs and so on. You can also create new menus here if you would like to do so. Widgets are going to let you customize the widgets that you have under appearance and then widgets in a what you see is what you get environment. As I mentioned at the start of the video, um, the customizer only lets you customize what you can see on the page. So to customize the home page, obviously you need to be on a home page, but to customize a post or a page, say to get to the sidebar, you would need to click through to one of those pages. So you'll see here, um, if I click through to a post, then I'm going to be able to customize the sidebar here, but um, not on the homepage, for example. If you do want to have all of your widgets in one place, then you can do that under appearance and then widgets. So um, on the homepage, if we just change back to that, then we're going to have all of these homepage widget areas here. And you can um, customize any of these by loading these up. You can either add new widgets in or customize the widgets you've got already. I'll just show you um, perhaps if we wanted to customize this uh, widget area here. So that'd be home, home page column one of three. We could choose to um, perhaps remove the page content, the formatting, um, change the uh, background. That's just the featured image displaying in the background. All of those options are available here. And it's just a case of going through um, with this live preview and customizing the widgets that you want to look at. We do have a full look at the widgets required for setting up each of the different um, demos um, at the wpzoom.com documentation for presence. And you'll also find um, a brief introduction to widgets in the general setup video. You remember also from that general setup video, we looked at setting a static front page. Um, so here, if you've got a widgetized homepage or using the builder, then you can add that in here. Um, although we'd recommend that you do that in the general setup video under settings and then reading rather than in here because there are some extra steps to follow. You can also customize the typography here. here you've got a whole wealth of options um, and you can customize using hundreds of these fonts here. Um, using the Google font library. You can change any of the fonts for um, any of the areas on the theme as um, you can see here. So I could just change this to perhaps Droid Sans here. Um, you'll see that changed immediately. Obviously you can change any of these. So if we wanted to drop that font size, change the font weight, maybe go ultra bold with this one. You know, you've got all of these options available here and you can do that for all of the different areas of your, on your site. So you've got full customization available here of the typography. You can also customize any other general colors as well as changing the color schemes that we saw earlier. You're gonna have a color picker available here that will allow you to pick up any of these and just customize them um, in order to match your brand or just your tastes. You can use this color picker to choose between any of these. You can use the tint and fade in order to do that or use the HTML hex code um, in order to customize that. And it's the same for all of these. You've got full customization with the presence theme um, for any of these items. You can just go through here and really get the look and feel that you want. Final option is to customize the footer text that you're going to see at the bottom of the page here. You see right now it says copyright 2016 WP Zoom, but you can change this to whatever you like. Once you're done with the customizer, just press save and publish and WordPress is immediately going to put those changes live onto your site. So when we close this, we're going to be returned to the WordPress dashboard and we can now visit our site 
and you'll see those changes made. You're gonna see we've got um, the background we selected, the slider we selected, and all of these options as we set them up. So the customizer is a really powerful way of customizing your theme with that live preview available. There are extra videos for doing the full setup of the different layouts um, for the presence theme it's because it's an incredibly versatile theme. There are separate videos just for showing you how to do those different setups. You'll find those with the documentation for the theme at wpzoom.com, as well as, as I mentioned, that general setup video. If you do have any queries, then head over to wpzoom.com, go to your account and you can submit a new support ticket and our support team will be more than happy to help you. So if you have any queries, head over there. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.